I think one of the most powerful chapters in Life Loves You is chapter four, which is on the miracle of forgiveness. For both Louise and I, we both really agree that forgiveness is the great miracle cure, the great miracle of our lives really, because forgiveness gives us a chance to start again. Forgiveness gives us a chance to honor our past, but also let it go. Forgiveness gives us a chance to come back into our life as the man or woman that we truly are and that we really want to be. You can't really have an experience of life loving you if you're still holding on to grievances and you feel like you're a victim of the world. That's not going to work. Life loves you is asking you to make a choice really between grievances and miracles. So with forgiveness, we came up with an exercise, an exercise which I consider to be the most powerful exercise on forgiveness that I personally know of. And this exercise is really designed to help you to let go of your past, but also to heal your future. Because if you practice forgiveness now in the present, your future will be different. You heal the future by forgiving the past. And when you're willing to practice forgiveness, then you will have this greater experience, I believe, of life loving you. When you spend time with Louise, you're going to hear the affirmation, life loves you, quite a lot. Uh, when I first heard those words, life loves you, and I really took them in, my first thought was, this would make a great book. And I remember actually saying to Reed Tracy, president of Hay House, and to Louise, life loves you would make a great book. And they both agreed, but nothing happened. In fact, I remember once saying to Reed Tracy, life loves you should really be a book. And he said to me, great, tell me when you're ready to write it. And I thought he was joking, and I already had some writing projects anyway. But you know, that idea that life loves you could be a book would appear every now and then. And I didn't do anything with it until the day after I finished my last book, uh, a book called Holy Shift, 365 Meditations from A Course of Miracles. I'd actually planned to play golf that day, and instead I got this download for Life Loves You, and I submitted it to Hay House. Life Loves You, Seven Spiritual Practices to Heal Your Life, a book by Louise Hay and Robert Holden. That day, Reed Tracy emailed back and said, I love it. Patty Gift, my editor, also said, I love it. Two days later, I got an email from Louise with lots of happy emoticons on there saying, yippee, I'm so happy. This is fantastic. Let's do it. And we were away and it just happened like that. A lot of the conversations that Louise and I had for Life Loves You took place in front of a great big wall length mirror. We decided to hold some of these conversations in front of the mirror because we wanted to be honest with each other. And you know, Life Loves You is a pretty confronting inquiry. You find all sorts of places in you, places in the dark corners of your mind where you still maybe don't really believe that life loves you. And we certainly found those for ourselves. A large part of this book is about finding those blocks to letting life love you more and really allowing those blocks to be dissolved so that you can have a greater experience of love.